Hey everybody, what's up? It's Asher. So uh, today uh, I'm going to be doing a really highly requested video. Um, people ask me about my hair color all the time. Like, uh, gender is definitely like the first, like the number one most asked thing I get. But um, if, if there was a number two, close number two is definitely uh, hair related stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you guys. Before I do anything like demo-y or whatever, I'm going to talk about the company that I use to color my hair. Um, so as some of you guys probably know, uh, I was a beauty school student, I went to Empire Beauty School, it was terrible, and that's another video for another time. Um, but as you can imagine, as a cosmetologist and you know, whatever, 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 I, um, I've used a lot of different hair color brands. Now, um, even before then, I was like a hair color junkie or whatever, but um, I sucked and I did it like really badly. I was a scene kid, you know, so my hair was like fried and destroyed and shitty. Nonetheless, I've been using colored hair dyes for a long time, so, um, yeah. I just, for disclaimer purposes, and so that no wedding could say that I tried to, you know, pull anything over them, Arctic Fox is one of my sponsors, but, um, I completely believe everything I'm gonna say in this video, like, they're not, like, holding me at gunpoint, like, you have to see good stuff about our hair color. They don't, you know, it's not like that, um, they've been really cool about, like, letting me know when they develop colors that they think I'd like to try. Like, they just came out with a green that I'm trying right now, um, because I like their other green colors and stuff, so, uh, yeah, I, everything I say about them is totally genuine in this video. I don't have to say anything good about them, like, it's not, like, a situation like that. So, Arctic Fox hair color is completely vegan, uh, awesome. I'm not vegan myself, but, uh, it makes me feel a little bit better, I guess, to use a product that is vegan. They're cruelty free, completely, obviously. Uh, they, something that um, a lot of hair colors, a lot of hair colors say that they are uh, conditioning or whatever, um, or that they're moisturizing for your hair. Uh, I don't know about like the actual, you know, science behind other brands, but I know this brand like legitimately has actual conditioner and the product, like, like this hair dye, the, the consistency isn't, like a normal hair dye, like, I could put this on without gloves on and my fingers would be like a little tinted, but they wouldn't be like, you know, like, stained, like if I were to put like Manic Panic on without gloves on, for example, so, um, I, I don't know if that's because of the conditioner or not, but like, it totally has that sort of extra silky feel to it, like I just got some of my fingers from touching the bottle, um, but, um, yeah. So there's actually conditioner in here, so if your hair is super fried or whatever and you're putting color on it, it legitimately helps your hair, so, um. That's cool. And lastly, and not leastly, the best thing about their company, 15% um, of proceeds goes to like helping animals and shit, so that's fucking awesome. Uh, yeah. Actually, it specifically goes to preventing animal abuse, but um, yeah, more information about like sources for that and exactly what the money goes to and everything will be in the description. It's also obviously on their website, but um, yeah, so this thing that I've been holding up the whole time I've been talking is a swatch thing, like a laminated swatch page or whatever, um, they sent this to me with my last package, uh, I'm not gonna go through all the different colors because, you know, that's sort of, like, pointless, you guys can go to the website and see that stuff, but, um, I am gonna talk a little bit about the colors that I use, um, uh, so I've used probably almost all of the stuff in their, like, I don't wanna say they're cool tones because I have the yellow as well as the um, neon yellow. So um, I do have these out of the warmer colors, but um, as far as other colors I've tried, I've tried the aquamarine color, um, I've used iris green, which is the newest one that I'm gonna talk about. Um, I've used violet dream, I've used phantom green, I've used Poseidon, <laughs> um, only a little bit of Poseidon though, which is why I only have like a tiny bottle. Um, so yeah, those are the colors that I have right now. Um, yeah, so, this is the, um, four ounce bottle, which, uh, I, if you guys want to see, like, um, an Arctic Fox versus Manic Panic video, you can like this video up and let me know if you want to see that, but, um, just a brief note to make, this is four ounces, and you can get this for, like, half the price that you can get a four ounce jar of Manic, of Manic Panic, <laughs> um, just fucking drop that on the floor or whatever. Um, and this is the 8 ounce bottle, which is the same price as a 4 ounce jar of Manic Panic. So, um, double the product for the same price, that's something to think about. Uh, 
just so you can see again, this is the 4 ounces with the 8 ounces. Now these smell, if you've ever used Punky Color hair dye, very similar to Punky Color. Um, it's that whole grape Kool-Aid smell going on. Definitely fruity, definitely doesn't smell like typical hair dye. But it isn't just grapes either. Like it's definitely grapes mixed with conditioner. <laughs> but it's delicious, I love it. Uh, probably my favorite smelling hair dye that I've ever used. I don't know, like I said, it smells just like Punky Color, so uh, it's kind of not fair to say that, but um... Yeah, I haven't smelled that one in a long time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I like the way this smells best. Um, like I said, like, it's weird, like, it doesn't stain, like, normal hair colors, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, I just rubbed it on my skin, and instead of it looking like a giant blotch of ink, it just sort of, like, turns into a fady, like, and it sort of has, like, a jellyish texture, if that makes sense, like, as opposed to a cream, it's got, like, a translucent film over the color, if that... It, that's that's like a weird way to explain it, but um, if you if you use it, you'll know what I mean. Okay, so that's all you need to know about the product. Uh, I like fucking punched the shit out of my hand just now. Um, that's all you need to know about the product, like alone. Um, now they did, like I said, uh, release a couple new colors recently. I believe the new colors that they released are iris green, sterling, which is like a toner for silver hair, and um, or I guess it's gray, silver gray. I don't know. And um, Transylvania, which is black. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be using iris green. Now, what my hair is right now is a faded concoction of iris green and neon moon, which is what I, uh, before iris green came out, I used to mix neon moon and aquamarine to get something kind of like iris green. Um, but then they contacted me, like, oh my god, we just came out with a color just like that. So, yeah, here it is. Um, and yeah, this time I'm going to be using just iris green, like with absolutely no neon moon, but it is going on top of this, mostly neon moon with a little bit of this, and um, so, yeah. We're going to be basically just seeing what we can do, um, the, what I did was when I covered my roots last time, I just sort of, my roots ended up being super blonde, and I wanted them to be like highlighter yellow slimy, so, uh, that's why I did that, but now I'm going to be seriously testing just iris green, and um, we'll see if I like it or not. Now, just really fast before I get into the tutorial, um, as far as longevity for Arctic Fox hair color goes. So yeah, my roots are pretty pale when I put that on there, and um, they're still like distinctively green, so I'd say that 40 washes is about how long they probably last. Um, mine's still going strong, and it's been like seven or eight washes. Like it doesn't look pretty, it doesn't look very much different than it did at all when I first put it on, so. Yeah, um, with all that said, I will see you guys over in my bathroom to do some hair coloring. <laughs> Alright you guys, so um, welcome to my bathroom. It's got terrible lighting, sorry. Um, I'm really not going to do much because, um, like I said, I'm just using one color. I'm going to be using iris green and um, I'm just going to be fucking squirting this shit all over my mess of, of hair. So. Honestly, I'm just gonna be totally honest. If I wasn't recording this, I would literally just squirt this in my hair and like rub it in. But um, oh, for you guys, I'm gonna put everything in this bowl. So um, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, check that out. Mmm. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm putting a lot in there because um, I'm doing my whole head. So I kind of have like more hair than I'm used to having and it's also thick so I'm gonna start with that much and if I have to add some I will I would use gloves like on another person or that's actually a straight-up lie too because I straight in this bathroom I actually have done like two people's hair without gloves on but I'm I don't give any fucks I'm not wearing gloves this stuff like I said earlier it doesn't stain really badly like yeah so uh, I also feel like I need to reiterate that this is um I would normally wait a little bit longer to touch my hair up because it's not like, it's not super faded and my roots aren't bad or anything, but um, I don't know, I wanted to do the darker green now and I was filming this and so I don't know, yeah. So whatever, without further ado, I'm just going to start slapping this stuff on my hair. The consistency is pretty liquidy and it is very much darker than my roots as you can just see um, and I'm not gonna actually talk to you guys the whole time I color my hair 
I just wanted you guys to sort of see what it looked like as soon as it went on. Um, it is very much darker than my roots, as you can just see. Um, and I'm not going to actually talk to you guys the whole time I color my hair. I just wanted you guys to sort of see what it looked like as soon as it went on. Um, yeah, also, if you're really nervous about your skin staining, uh, I would use like Vaseline or petroleum jelly like on the, on the perimeter of your head. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna speed through me doing this and, um, yeah. You should also probably wear like a shirt that you don't care about, but um, this one is dark and also like I said, this stuff doesn't really like leave stain. Well, okay, on fabric it would totally stain, but like I'm not concerned. <laughs> cover it with like a plastic bag. I got I easily wiped all the stuff off my forehead and like my hands are still like normal colored. It says leave it in for 30 minutes or longer. I'm gonna leave mine in for about an hour. That's how long I usually leave it in. Uh, maybe longer because it doesn't damage your hair. It's totally non-damaging. It's just conditioner basically. So yep, I'll uh, show you guys the final stuff at the end. All right guys, so uh, we're back and this is what my hair looks like. Uh, it looks exactly the same as I expected it to look. It's just a little bit darker than it was before, and there's like no yellow roots. So, um, yeah, sorry, this is like a few days after I did that, so my hair's like been styled, and oh no, my camera's tilting, oh my god. My, my tripod's broken, so, um, whoops. Anyway, god damn it. Okay. <laughs> is it going to stay? Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, anyway, I hope this review and demo was like helpful to some of you guys, and if you want to shop at arcticfoxhaircolor.com, remember to um, go there through my link in the description bar down below. It's uh, www.arcticfoxhaircolor.com slash asher, um, A-S-C-H-E-R. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys have fun with all your hair coloring needs and stuff, and I hope this like helped some of you guys. Like, I don't know. If I do anything more complicated in the future, like different colors and stuff, I'll be sure to record it because this was just slapping one color on. Um, I wanted to start with something basic for the demo, but I'll do something more viewish later.